Six Sigma, also known as Sixes, is a set of techniques and tools for process improvement. It was introduced by American engineer Bill Smith while working at Motorola in 1986. A Six Sigma process is one in which 99.99966% of all opportunities to produce some feature of a part are statistically expected to be free of defects. Six Sigma strategies seek to improve manufacturing quality by identifying and removing the causes of defects and minimizing variability in manufacturing and business processes. It does this by using empirical and statistical quality management methods and by hiring people who serve as Six Sigma experts. Each Six Sigma project follows a defined methodology and has specific value targets such as reducing pollution or increasing customer satisfaction. The term Six Sigma originates from statistical modeling of manufacturing processes. The maturity of a manufacturing process can be described by a Sigma rating indicating its yield or the percentage of defect-free products it creates, specifically to within how many standard deviations of a normal distribution the fraction of defect-free outcomes corresponds. Motorola pioneered Six Sigma, setting a Six Sigma goal for its manufacturing business. It registered Six Sigma as a service mark on June 11, 1991. US service, mark 1,647,704. On December 28, 1993, it registered Six Sigma as a trademark. In 2005, Motorola attributed over $17 billion in savings to Six Sigma. Honeywell and General Electric were also early adopters of Six Sigma. As GE's CEO in 1995, I made it central to our business strategy. And in 1998, we announced $350 million in cost savings thanks to Six Sigma. This figure later grew to more than $1 billion. By the late 1990s, about two-thirds of the Fortune 500 organizations had begun Six Sigma initiatives with the aim of reducing costs and improving quality. In recent years, some practitioners have combined Six Sigma ideas with lean manufacturing to create a methodology named Lean Six Sigma. The Lean Six Sigma methodology views lean manufacturing, which addresses process flow and waste issues and Six Sigma, with its focus on variation and design, as complementary disciplines aimed at promoting business and operational excellence. In 2011, the International Organization for Standardization, or ISO, published the first standard ISO 13053-2011, defining a Six Sigma process. Other standards have been created mostly by universities or companies with Six Sigma First Party certification programs. The term Six Sigma comes from statistics, specifically from the field of statistical quality control, which evaluates process capability. Originally, it referred to the ability of manufacturing processes to produce a very high proportion of output within specification. Processes that operate with Six Sigma quality over the short term are assumed to produce long-term defect levels below 3.4 defects per million opportunities, or DPMO. The 3.4 DPMO is based on a shift of plus or minus 1.5 Sigma, as explained by Michael Harry. This figure is based on the tolerance in the height of a stack of disks. Specifically, say that there are six standard deviations represented by the Greek letter sigma between the mean represented by mu and the nearest specification limit. As process standard deviation goes up or the mean of the process moves away from the center of the tolerance, fewer standard deviations will fit between the mean and the nearest specification limit, decreasing the sigma number and increasing the likelihood of items outside specification. According to a calculation method employed in process capability studies, this means that practically no items will fail to meet specifications. One should also note that the calculation of sigma levels for a process data is independent of the data being normally distributed. In one of the criticisms of Six Sigma, practitioners using this approach spend a lot of time transforming data from non-normal to normal using transformation techniques. 
It must be said that sigma levels can be determined for process data that has evidence of non-normality. Values of six sigma include increased productivity, improved quality, reduced operation costs, higher customer satisfaction, and improved communication among team members. Six Sigma makes use of several definitions. Definition one, low variation. If a process can accommodate six standard deviations between the process mean and the nearest significant limit, it is called a Six Sigma process. Definition two, low defects. If a process makes 3.4 defects in a million opportunities over a long period of time, it is called a Six Sigma process in the short term, considering a 1.5 Sigma shift in the process. This means that a sigma level in the long term of 4.5 sigma equates to 6 sigma in the short term. Definition 3, structured methodology. This includes DMAIC for improving existing processes, DFSS, DMADV or IDOV for designing new processes or products, and LEAN which focuses on creating customer value by improving flow. Definition 5, eliminate focus on inspection, catch defects early. The cost of a defect increases exponentially downstream. If a defect is created, the customer will experience it, even with the best inspection methods. Responsibilities in Lean Six Sigma are categorized by different belt levels. Let's break them down. White belt, understand the general structure of Lean Six Sigma methodology. Have knowledge of basic vocabulary and overall goals of Lean Six Sigma methodology. Report significant process errors to green or black belts, yellow belt. Understand vocabulary and structure of Lean Six Sigma methodology. Receive just-in-time training. Participate in Lean Six Sigma project teams. Report significant process errors to green or black belts. Green belt. Possess thorough knowledge of Lean Six Sigma methodology. Manage Lean Six Sigma projects. Instruct just-in-time training. Report significant.